What's up, everyone? Cordy Cox here in the PNC Bank Sports Corner for Football Now. The Patriots are looking to bounce back after a heartbreaking loss against the Seahawks. Final score was 35 to 30, ending with Cam Newton trying to rush the ball into the end zone as time ran off the clock. But the good news, we saw a lot out of Cam. In week one, he threw for 155 yards and zero touchdowns. Week two, 397 passing yards, a touchdown, and a pick. So I asked our Pats experts, Zach Cox and Doug Kide, if they felt more confident about the QB after week one's win or week two's loss. We didn't really see him throw that much in week one. Not a whole lot of downfield passes, lots of dinks and dunks. Uh, Patriots really went very run heavy in that week one game, but Cam Newton really let it fly in week two. You have to almost feel even better about his what he brings to the Patriots offense after watching him in this loss in week two. Because as you mentioned, in week one, didn't really do much in the way of throwing the ball. Uh, had a very successful rushing day. But in week two, he was almost as, success, almost as successful on the ground, but also threw the ball a lot in this game and threw the ball very effectively. We heard from the quarterback on Thursday, and while we've already talked about him putting up better stats in week two than he did in week one, none of that matters to the big guy. Who cares about QBR? Who cares about total tackles? Who cares about yards after catch? Who cares about catches? Who cares about yards thrown? Who cares about yards rush? Who cares how many touchdowns you threw, ran, or interceptions you've got or whatever from youth league rec ball football to high school to college to anything type of anything that requires you keeping score the most important statistic is did you win or did you lose and other than cam some important notes heading into the weekend for one, James White was not present in Wednesday or Thursday's practice. Of course, White's father died in a car accident that left his mother with life-threatening injuries on Sunday while he was in Seattle. It's never a great sign when a player doesn't miss the first two uh, days of practice in a week, but if anyone could come in on Sunday without any practice whatsoever, it would be a veteran running back like James White, but no, no word so far about whether he can take the field on Sunday against the Raiders. David Andrews also was sporting a new wrap during practice on Thursday, worrying Pats fans. He had his right hand and right thumb pretty heavily wrapped, and that's not a great sign for a center who probably has to either use that hand to be snapping the ball or to be blocking. The Patriots have a number of different options that they could use as a replacement for David Andrews. If he cannot play on Sunday, some of those would be second-year pro Yelda Froholt filling in at center. Maybe they could switch around and have Joe Tooney play center, have Michael Owenu and Jermaine Illuminor both used as starters. So Patriots do have a lot of options there. All right, so you know how they say a face that launched a thousand ships? Same can be said about Bill Belichick's sweatshirt. Here is a perfect example. He showed up to the press conference on Wednesday and Twitter, well, it exploded. Only in Boston tweeted this after the Celtics lost in game four to the Heat. Our very own Emerson Lazia just got a new puppy, Winnie. We love Winnie. So he used the picture to describe being a new puppy parent. And while there are a lot of tweets out there, Mike Reese is a stats guy and no different here. Tweeting, quote, cut sleeves, holes, ripped neck, Oh yeah, this is the hoodie that Bill Belichick first wore in the 2013 season opener and in Super Bowl 52. All right, that'll do it. Kickoff for the Pats and Raiders is 1 p.m. on Sunday at Gillette Stadium. Can Cam make it happen? Thanks for hanging out. Bye, guys.